So I'm just going to be talking through what I did to create this picture. So I've started off with this picture of a road and I've already cut out this picture of a whale tail and I've kept in a little bit of the water as well. So using the move tool, I'm just going to resize the whale tail. And then I'm going to add a HSL adjustment and I'm going to drag that onto the, the picture of the whale and I'm going to bring the saturation all the way down. I'm then going to add an exposure adjustment and bring that down as well. So I'm just trying to get the water to match the road as best as I can. So I've just added a pixel layer and then using the colour tool I'm going to drag it onto the dark spots of the road. I'm just going to paint that over the water. And I'm then going to change the blend mode to soft light and I'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit. Then I'm going to add another pixel layer and do the same thing but with the brighter part of the road. And again, I'm going to put it on soft light and I'm going to bring the opacity down. And then on that picture of the wire, I'm going to add a mask layer. And still using the paintbrush tool, I'm going to put the colour on black and then I'm just going to lower the opacity. And I just want to paint around the edges and that's just going to help blend the water in with the road. So you don't see that harsh line. And then with the move tool, I'm going to click on the picture of the whale and then I'm just going to duplicate that picture. And then I'm going to change the blend mode to darken. And lower the opacity as well. And then I'm going to add another pixel layer and I'm going to move over to the brush tool and I'm going to change the brush to a water brush. And this is just going to create like little droplets of water. And then using the colour pick tool, I'm going to move that over to the water just so I can select that colour. And then I'm going to start adding those water droplets over the tail. And then I'm going to do the same thing with a different one but this just has bigger water drops and again I'm just painting that over the tail then add another pixel layer I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing until it looks like there's loads of water on the whale tail and then I'm going to duplicate the picture of the whale again I'm going to put that on normal and bring the opacity back up. And then on the selections persona, 
and use the Smart Selections brush. And I'm just going to paint over the wild tail. And then I'm going to add a mask layer. And then deselect. And then I'm going to flip that one around so I'm, I can use this as a shadow. So I'm going to place it where I want it and then I'm going to add an exposure adjustment and drag that onto that picture and I'm going to bring it all the way down so it's completely black. Now moving over to the filter studio, I'm going to add a Gaussian Blair. And I'm just going to convert that to live so I can go back and change it later if I need to. And then I'm just going to bring the radius up. And this is just going to help take some of the harshness out of the shadow. And then I just want to bring the opacity down. Now I'm just going back to the Gaussian Blair and I'm going to bring the radius up a little bit more. And then onto the picture of the shadow, I'm just going to bring the opacity down.